We're checking out the local market. It's clearly mango season. Chris is going to have good luck all day. It could be an interesting evening. This one's following to me. Más de 50 años trabajó la taquería. Es un pan maya. I had to break down to get a haircut. There is no replacement for Reb Jackson. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We're checking out the local market to see what type of food there is. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess. And when it's clearly mango season. All these mangoes and bananas, I'm in heaven. There's so much fresh fruit available, wow. Can we go in there? There's a bunch of places selling tamale here. Chris is gonna have good luck all day. He got pooped on. Do they? Oh, boo. <laughs> and now for the inside. They have volcanes. We haven't been finding a lot of places that have volcanes. And so we're not even doing our standard review of a place. If it's got volcanes, we're eating there. It could be an interesting evening. Or an interesting two days. Gracias, amiga. Cochinita? Cochinita y lombito. Cochinita comes with onions. Not bad. It's a little greasy. I rated about a three. Not a lot of flavor in these. Next. This one's calling to me. He throws his back on the grill after he loads it up. <laughs> I like it. The cochinita in this is perfection. You can taste all of the flavors of the slow cooked meat. This is a really good one. Now I'm going to put some habanero on it. You actually think you're going to get some of this? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> This is the best we've ever tried. Yes, I'm going to tell you. Can you get a little bit more? See, when a place calls to you, it just says, come, listen to it. This place is really good. Wow, all right, we're just going to eat here. This is a guiso traditional from Yucatan, created in Yucatan. It's called Lomito. It has huevito and salsa. But igual, no in cualquier lado lo saben guisar. Eso lo hacía mi papá. Más de 50 años trabajó la taquería. ¿En serio? Y se me quedó a mí y ya tengo más de 38 años trabajando. Oh, este wow. guiso es un guiso especial, tradicional de la comida yucateca. Muchas lomitos, gracias. Lomitos. Lomitos. Puerco frito. I'm going to tell you what he said. This is lomitos of pork. It's a specialty of the Yucatan. His dad worked in a taqueria for 50 years, passed the secret on to him. He's been making this for 36 years, and uh, he just gave us the stock so we could try his specialty. That is awesome. Mm. This is really good. Mm. And a famous local beverage, Coca de Cola. Mm. Mm. Mm, I think they're gonna burn myself or not, but I like hot sauce, just not for the other. Wow. You gotta come to Tagria and Benisa in the local market, Nevado Leaks. It's right in the corner of the inside of the market. Best food we've had in Egypt. Amazing. A ginger bun, slobbery. And they make their homemade habanero sauce for sale here at the store. I really want to get one, but I'm afraid it would blow up in our backpack and that would really lead to uncomfortable underwear situations. So we just have to get it whenever we come through here when we're not traveling. 
Because you know, we don't travel very much. Este es un pan maya que se llama pibiwa y en lengua maya significa pan cocido bajo tierra. Pibiwa pip es hueco y wa es pan. Este pan es descendientemente pan prehistórico que los mayas, los que hicieron el castillo de Chichén, era su pan de ellos. Hoy en día lo puede usted encontrar en la taquería Ebenecer, Mercado Municipal General Donato Bate Herrera. Estamos para servirles, Valladolid, Yucatán, un servidor, Miguel Mendoza, esposa, y para nuestros amigos que nos visitan. Con todo gusto para servirles. Now you know we gotta try one of those. We just came to this place because Katie looked down the road and said, that place is calling to me. What a lucky find. That's why we always follow those feelings. And I always follow her. I want to try the outside first. <laughs> oh, it's a dense. Mm. That is totally different. I don't know how to explain it. It's, um, more of a um, tamale type feel. Mm -hmm. But that's really good. Wow. That's even better than the bukkane. And the bukkane was the best thing we've eaten in Madoli. And his cochinita and lomito are insanely good. Yeah, you can tell there's a lot of love in this meat. Yeah. Oh. Just amazing. The food was incredible. Just you could taste that there was a lot of love in that food and it has been cooked for a long time. Roland, 86 years of experience, right? Or, or, yeah, his dad ran that place for 50 years. He's run it for 36. Wow, and those, that pee pee wow. Never even wow. heard of that before. Mm -mm. Just from this area, totally different flavor from the pocanes and even better. Well, I like pocanes better, but that's okay. <laughs> Real life experiences with real people who are just proud of their culture and proud of their history and happy to share it with you. Some of the amazing stuff about traveling there. I am really glad that my intuition said we needed to stop there. And it was yeah. all the way across the room. And then as we walked up, he turned to us and got this big smile and said, come on in friends. And we're like, Pfft, we're home. Yeah. You need a nap, don't you? I do. <laughs> Off we go. Katie found the mother of all craft stores here in Valladolid and I was like, I'm not gonna film inside. And then she winds up finding everything that she needed for her quilling. Everything I need, paper, a board to cut it on, and something to cut it with. Very important. <laughs> and a ruler, and seta gas. Now I have to make something that actually looks good. So stay tuned. <laughs> I couldn't wait for you, Reb. I had to break down to get a haircut but there is no replacement for Reb Jackson. I will be there to see you when we get back to Bedford. place by just scrolling through all of the internet and it just called to me. It's on 40 near 33. Now that's in the mica. It's as big as your torso. Not bad. Oh, there it goes. We got past the ice. That's a pretty good hot mica. He told us that sauce was hot, but they always say that because they look at us and so they don't know just how hot we eat. But uh, the smell of that, I think you might have been being honest. That smells pretty hot. This is amazing. This is 
Sopa de Lima lime soup. Very good. Mm, that's really good. The beans, you can really taste them, which, haha, I like that. You're trying to make a noodles? No, I'll let you have them. Okay. We've been having a great time eating all the local food in Bayou de Lima. But we would be remiss if we didn't show you just a little bit more of the colonial charm of this amazing city. So we'll start with a little walk down the Casado de los Frailes, which, as you can tell, is adorable. Fresh coconut water. Oh, right out of the coconut. That's actually pretty good. Look at that fan. Keep wanting in the shade. Ice cream and popsicles. All over the place, there's these cute little signs that tell the history. Well, in true GoPro fashion, uh, the GoPro blanked out on us and locked up about halfway down the Casado de los Frailes, but I think you got the idea. It's just a really cute colonial little walk, little shops and stuff. It's definitely popular and touristy because uh, a lot of the shops are kind of upscale, but really nice. And it ends right here at the convent of, I think it's San Bernardine. There's a historical convent here. Just a gorgeous little walk. I love the walk because there's a lot of shade and the trees and the birds are pretty. And she found her dream home down there, which is just a giant wall with trees all over growing inside. Well, you know, you gotta start somewhere. So for those of you who are tracking, that's 413 dream homes that Katie's found so far. <laughs> She's easy to make happy. Well, we could go in, but we've been in it a few times in the past, and since it's historical, it probably hasn't changed at all, so we're just gonna keep along our walk. But if you haven't been in, it is kind of a cool little museum and part of history in there. We were really hoping to catch our favorite taco cart, El Tigrillo, again while we were here, but we thought they were closed. It turns out they only open on the weekends. So they're here, and we're gonna get some volcanes and some tacos here. Good. And you're right. That's also is really hot. <laughs> I give it a six. A six? Wow, they've fallen. They've fallen. The one at the market was a ten. ten. I got a taco and a pocan. I'm gonna load it down with habanero and get back to you after. Well, what a perfect way to spend our last evening in amazing Valladolid. Just down here on the plaza. It's just been a wonderful trip. And the food has been fantastic. He agrees. <laughs> you know, so we're going to find a trolley shop that we love. So we're going to sit here on the plaza. People watch as the birds chirp and the sun goes down. Awesome trip. Yeah. Tomorrow we are off to a place we've never been before. So adventure awaits. <laughs> Not too adventurous. <laughs>
legitimate oh, loud stereos. Quick, tell me how it is. Hmm? Look quick, tell me how it is. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh, sorry. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Click the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>